Hello, I'm Deborah Cavaglia with Authentic Hypnosis, Healing the Spirit and the Mind. And today, we are going to talk about some of the characteristics with the chakra number five, and the color is blue. So today, I'd like to speak to you about the throat chakra, which is number five. It's your fifth energy point on the body, working of course from the bottom up, stones, gems that hold that resolution, that help you, turquoise, lapis, aquamarine, and sodalite. Those all represent your fifth chakra, the throat. Your mouth's probably got you in a lot of trouble on and off during your life. <laughs> no doubt, I know it's gotten me in some trouble too. <laughs> no question. When that happens, we were not in balance. And maybe it's gotten us in trouble also, not because we've spoken so much, but because we didn't speak up. It's very important to stick up for yourself. I also feel it's important to not judge people. Don't blame people for your own inadequacies. Stand up like a proper adult or individual, spirit body, spirit form, and be kind to yourself. And be kind to others when you speak to them as well. When you judge others, what you're doing is all of those things that are coming out are actually your internal problems that you haven't worked out yet. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble depending upon what you say to people. Watch gossiping. That's your worst enemy. You shouldn't be taking that energy or that time and, and polluting your spirit as well as lowering everybody's vibration in the room and yours by entertaining gossip, spreading rumors, or listening to gossip. It's lowering your vibration, and we wanna be in a higher vibration. This is why we work on our chakras and balancing them, balancing our energy points, so those are the chakras, and using those colors and the characteristics of the gems and the stones and the sounds and the colors, the throat chakra, it's an air sign. So chances are Aquariuses, Geminis, Libras, they're all air signs. They probably have a better understanding and easier time speaking to people or being able to voice their opinions in a beautiful way and spreading love and light that way. So if you're any of those signs, fantastic. But watch what you say, remember? higher divine source gave us two ears one mouth that's to listen and also because it's the throat chakra it's also the eyes the sinuses the nose not only the throat but also the ears sometimes you have to be quiet and just listen and think before you speak especially in difficult situations. And difficult situations put purple in their mouth. You'll see that on my crown chakra, the seventh chakra, I discussed that. Those of us who have had rough childhoods, abusive relationships of any kind, domestic or being bullied, whatever that may be, have a tendency to shut down their throat chakra because you thought, well, if I'm not seen or heard, maybe I will be left alone. What has transpired in the meanwhile, if you haven't dealt with those emotions and feelings and cleared those blocks and found a way to forgive, to gift thyself and bless the other people fully, you don't have to tell them personally. You don't have to write them a letter. If it helps to write something, fine, but that doesn't mean you have to mail it. Have a little ceremony and burn it. I will also have other YouTube videos for those kinds of things available to you in the future to help you along that process. Chances are you've lost that empowerment. It was taken from you. 
but I no longer want you to continue that cycle of abuse by you taking your own voice. So I want you to really start working on that throat chakra. Get into that wonderful superwoman or superman stance to ground yourself and empower yourself and voice what you need to say. Stand up for yourself if that is needed. Don't let people run you over back and forth and think that you're a doormat and it's okay because it's always happened. You have to teach people how you want to be treated. So if you've always been abused by family members or friends and they think that you're always the butt end of the joke, guess what? They're going to have a rude awakening once you start to really work on your throat chakra and you start standing up for yourself. And I'm going to tell you another bit of advice. Remove yourself from those people. They're vampires. They suck it out. They can't make their own light. So they need a grasp on anybody who has beautiful light in order to re-energize themselves and empower them to continue on in their chaotic lifestyle destruction and unworthiness and doubt and fear. A lot of it's fear, but you're not going to allow that anymore. You stand up for yourself, you empower yourself, you speak up for yourself, and you start teaching people how you want to be treated. And if they can't come aboard, guess what? See you later, alligator. You don't have time for that because you are getting healthier and you're improving your life and you are making better choices and living a much healthier lifestyle. You're living in your soul and your light and you are spreading that. Eventually they'll catch up, but that's not your problem. That is not your problem. We are all responsible for our own evolution. Remember that you are not somebody that's going to be taken for granted and you are going to stand up and you are going to defend your little baby inside of you and you're not going to take it anymore. So if it takes you to get that wonderful superwoman or superman stance to remember that and the color blue, do it. Wear turquoise, wear mala beads, wear any of those other gems to help empower you and remind you. But yet again, we are responsible on how we want to be treated. So good luck using that fifth chakra. Thank you for joining me. Namaste and many blessings to you and yours. Hello and thank you so much for joining me. There will be many YouTube videos available to you, workshops available for free available to you. Please take full advantage of them. Hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell as well because that way you won't miss a beat. Thanks again for joining me. Namaste.